Hey, what's up, guys? This is Reckless. I see you doing another video on how to on how to take apart a Traxxas Rustler. And yeah, so first you're gonna want to start out with the back. You're gonna want to take out all this right here. And then you're gonna want to take. I already I already took this out. You just take that off because it's usually. Uh, you're gonna want to take out the bolt right there that connects to this. Just take that out. Take the other one out. Take the other side out. I just turned my flash on. Turn the other one out. Take the other one out. Okay, and then let's start off with doing the back. What you want to do is you got to get a Phillips screwdriver. And just start taking out these ones in the back. Take it out. Make sure you have a place to put them so they don't get maybe like lost in your like carpet or something. Oh, where'd that go? Here it is. Put that there. This one out. Got it. The next one. You want to make sure to take them all off. What you're going to want to do is make sure to have like a magnetic screwdriver like this one. It's magnetic. It's pretty easy to make a screwdriver magnetic so it sticks to all these uh, screws that you take out. I'll be making a video on how to make your screwdriver magnetic. So yeah, just magnetic means like with non-magnetic it wouldn't be this, it wouldn't stick to it at the end. So it's easier to get them out in like easier places and all that. Okay, so now since I've taken all these bolts out, this piece, get this out of the way, this piece right here pops out from right under there. Put that aside. Okay, now you get this. Take this off, so as you'll see, this will be connected. What you want to do is take this off. Pop that off. Pop that one off. And then, look, boom. Pop it right through. And then you almost got everything off. There's only one thing on except for this wire going into there. And we'll talk about that next. But this, this wire's going there, so you gotta take off these screws. I'm gonna need a smaller screwdriver for this one, so let's go over here to my toolbox over here. Let's see here, small screwdriver. Okay, here we go. This is gonna work. Come on here. And here's my tracks of slash. Pretty nice. Okay. So you're gonna get the smaller screwdriver. And you're gonna wanna Start taking these off. Mine are kind of stripped, so I kind of gotta push down kind of hard. Okay, that one off. Make sure to put these 
aside from this one because this one's smaller in size. Okay. Now, get your screwdriver again. Take off the other one. Take off this other bolt. Okay. Get that. Right when you take that one off, the thing will start to come off. So first, take off this part. Little piece. It's kind of messed up. And then, you notice this will pop out. Okay. And then you take that off. And you just have this little space where you can buy like a new one maybe, solder it on, pop it in. And that's it. So now the only thing remaining is this. So, get your big screwdriver again. And start taking these off. Okay. That's off. That one back in the same pile, it's all the same size as the other one, so it doesn't matter. Or I mean to say it's the same size as the first one, so you don't want to get it mixed up with these smaller ones in the back. That one back there. So now, there's going to be two screws up here, but I already took them off earlier. So now it should just pop off, but you see there's... Those are connected by the axles going to there, so pop up the back, pull it back, and then you're going to need to get your screwdriver back and take off these on each side. Just unscrew it. As you can see, this flat or this um, rustler is very dirty. It's very dirty, so you're gonna wanna. Okay, after you pop that off, you're gonna have these left on your car. You're gonna have these just hanging there, and the other one. Where's the other one? Right here. The other one's just hanging there, and you're gonna have this big old mess right here. It's a big old mess with all your stuff. And then right here, you got your steering servo, all that, put that aside. Okay, and then, since this little piece is left for me, I'm going to take this off. Since I just ripped that off, okay, that screw over there. And then, right now you pretty much have like a roller, and then to take off the motor on the back, All these screws right here. I'm just gonna want to take all those screws off. It's not that hard to take apart this car. It's very simple. Just making this video for people who don't know how. All right, and then after I take this off, it's pretty much all you do. Check on the other side. My 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 stuff is loose over there. On the front, I added some really nice shocks. These things are jumping shocks. Even though the, this car can't really go that fast and all that, it's still pretty cool. All right, so yeah, all you do is take. Take these off. Since these are bigger, it doesn't really matter where you put them because you'll know. But what I would do if, if you lose memory fast is put these in a bag and you just have a Sharpie and just say motor, like motor screws and just, yeah, label them. Or they're just pretty much easy to remember where they go if, depending on what size they are. And if you guys want to see my HPI Crawler King that I just got, uh, go check out my 
channel. And I'll be having some videos of my slash up there soon because I'm getting it fixed today or tomorrow. I'm mudding with it and uh, yeah, it wasn't waterproof. I had castles set up on there with motor and all that, so yeah. Here it is, this, my speed controller broke, so get my castle motor on there. Got that for pretty cheap. Okay. Now I only have four more bolts to dig off. Okay, now that one's off. Okay, now I'm pretty sure this is my last one. Cause I already have a cup I already had a couple of them off. You might have another one right there in that spot. And maybe down there. But I only had to take off three. I actually took off that one, that one, and this one. Sorry if the video is bad, I'm getting a HD video camera soon, a big video camera, it's going to be nice. Right now I'm only using my iPhone, because this is all I have right now. So check out my channel in about a, about a couple days and I'll probably be filming in HD and all that, so it's going to be cool. Camera's gonna be really nice. Uh, it takes forever to take off these long bolts. If you have a drill, it goes by really fast, so. I just don't have a drill on me right now. Let's set the shop. Okay. I think this one's about off. Okay, those three are off. Let's see, I see another bolt in there. Okay, I see one more. So, and then you're gonna have to take off this one. It's kinda jammed in there with the wheel on it there. Soon I might be making a trailer out of this. I might, might get to cut it here. Take sand all this off. Maybe see what's kind of popping out right here. I might have to cut that off and then sand it down. This one's pretty hard, but there's more over here. There's one screw there, another screw there. You can barely see that. Another screw there, another screw there. You're going to want to pop those off to get the motor off. So today I did a tutorial on how to take apart a Texas, or a Texas wrestler, and the motor's about to pop off. So after take off that, just come over here and take off those bolts. And as I said, be careful taking all this off because just in case something happens, if you really care about this car, then yeah, just follow all the instructions on this video. So, yeah. Thanks, guys, for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. See you guys.